charge to DeAndre Jordan. LeBron James left side guarded by DeAndre. Has six to shoot. He's behind the line. Jump pump fakes, blows past him, and a hand with Elba Duck. Oh, goodness, and listen to this crowd inside Staples Center. Busca Corbett y ahora quieren a LeBron contra DeAndre Jordan. LeBron contra Jordan, va a amagar de tres, todavía la tiene, viene a ayudar Austin Rivers. Y ahora el Rey, seis segundos en el reloj, la puso en el piso, amagó y después penetra y la pone dos LeBron James. Tiene 18 hasta los fanáticos de los Cavs aquí en el Staples Center aplauden la gran jugada de LeBron. LeBron has 32 points, 10 assists and 8 rebounds. He has the ball up near the timeline. Eight to shoot. Works toward his left, unloads a long distance three. And nailed it. Oh, my goodness. LeBron James five feet behind the line with 1.11 to go has given the Cavaliers a 109-104 lead. LeBron James tonight has been magnificent. LeBron's guarded by Chandler at the left point. Cavs by three. LeBron squares up on Chandler. Got a half step fadeaway jumper off balance. Oh, my. Oh, LeBron James fading into the seats. Knocks it down, and the Cavalier bench runs onto the floor as the Nuggets have taken a timeout. That shot was unreal. Tiene LeBron, uno a uno contra. Shorthanded Cavs can't rally past Clippers in L.A. Wrap up, the Cavaliers were in an uphill fight all night on. Friday in L.A. struggling to overcome a slow start, a pair of injuries and Clippers center DeAndre Jordan. All three factors took their toll and the wine and gold were unable to run their road when streak to six, dropping the 116 minus 102 decision at Staples Center. After jumping out to an early lead in their first game of the trip on Wednesday in Denver, the Cavaliers were never able to Find solid footing in Tinseltown, falling behind by double digits less than eight minutes into the affair and clawing to get over the hump the rest of the way. They cut LA's 19-point lead to just four late in the third period, but that was as good as it'd get for Cleveland on Friday night. Rodney Hood was limited to just seven minutes of action after Suffering from a lower back strain and Sadie Osman left the game midway through the third period with a left hip strain and didn't return. The third factor, DeAndre Jordan, kept Cleveland on the ropes all night as LA's all-star big man piled up 20 points and 23 rebounds, part and parcel of the Clippers holding. Decisive edges in total rebounds, 52-40, second chance. Scoring, 25-8, and points in the paint, 58-42. Aside from the injured hood, Cleveland got solid performances from their starters and an exceptional effort from Jordan Clarkson off the bench. LeBron James led the Cavaliers with 25 points, going 11 for 20 from the floor and three of seven from deep, adding ten boards, a team high six assists, three blocked shots, and a pair of steals. But James only attempted two free throws on the night, part of a 30-18 disparity in attempts. Although the Cavs did employ the Haka Jordan strategy late in the fourth with the Clips big man taking 16 of LA's 30 tries. Jordan Clarkson, in his return to Los Angeles, where he spent his first four years with the Lakers, followed up with 21 points in 25 minutes of work, going 6 of 12 from the floor, including 4 of 5 from long distance and 5 of 5 from the stripe. Larry Nance Jr., who tangled with Jordan in the post all, Knight notched his third straight double-double, netting 16 points and a team-high 12 boards, adding a steal and a block in the loss. Junior Smith was solid all night, finishing with 15 points on 6 for 15 shooting to go with 5 assists, 3 boards and a team-high 3 steals. George Hill completed the Cavaliers in double figures.
chipping in with 10 points, going 3 of 5 from the field to go. With 5 assists, 3 boards, a steal and a block. All 5 Clippers starters, plus Montrezl Harrell, scored in. Double figures for Doc Rivers' squad, with Tobias Harris. Leading the way with 23 points, canning 5 triples on the night and finishing 8 of 17 from the floor overall. Turning point, the Cavaliers got off to a sluggish start on Friday night, tallying just 17 points and trailing by 18 points after the first period. At intermission, they were down two touchdowns. With four minutes to play in the third quarter, however, the Wine and Gold, led by LeBron and Clarkson, put together a blistering 12-0 run that saw Cleveland cut the Clippers 16. Point edge to just 4, 81-77, with 1.39 to play in the period. But the Clippers seized momentum back before the end of the quarter, scoring the final four points to stave off the Cavs rally, and when Montrezl Harrell scored on a 14-footer to start the fourth Tyrone Lue's shorthanded squad once again, found itself down double digits. Cleveland would get no closer than nine the rest of the way. By the numbers 17.0.629-13.3, Larry Nance Jr. scoring average field goal percentage and rebounding average over his Last three outings. Quotable, Larry Nance Jr., on Friday night's loss in L.A. Obviously, different teams present different threats, but we have to hammer out this offensive rebounding and defense. Really, we missed some shots tonight that normally we make, so we're not worried about that. That will go. Up next, the Wine and Gold's road trip moves on without the Cavaliers having to pack their suitcases for the next one. Taking on the Lakers on Sunday night at Staples Center. From there, the wine and gold head to Phoenix for a Tuesday night. Meeting with the Suns, followed by a visit to Portland where they'll take on Damian Lillard and the Blazers on Thursday. Cleveland closes out the six-game journey with an Eastern Conference matchup, squaring off against the Bulls on street. Patrick's Day in Chicago